In 2011, global spending on renewable energy rose to 40% as organizations seek to find new hydrocarbon products and new renewable energy sources. Here today to discuss this industry further is Eric Biatnis. Eric, thank you very much for coming into the studio today. Welcome. Nice to be here, Natalie. A study has suggested that the green energy transition could cost German consumers up to 60% more in 2020 compared with 2011. Overall, the renewable costs may total 175 billion euros by 2020. Are we adopting a short-term loss for long-term gain concept? And are these intentions compromised by the current economic climate? It's a good question. I would say it's for long-term gain. It is definitely a short-term loss because renewable energies cost so much more than fossil fuels. That means um, hydrocarbons, uranium, and so on. So um, if the price continues to go up, then it will be worthwhile. But basically for the big industry, we need to use fossil fuels because I don't think there will be enough renewables to go around for the big industry. So it's good to use renewables such as photovoltaic cells and wind power for homes, small villages and uh, private things, but not for big industry. But it seems this is an industry that demands a lot of investment and is going to end up costing consumers more. So where is the positive gains? Well, the positive gains will be after a long time when fossil fuels start to cost more than renewables. And it will be the governments who will have to subsidize a lot because it will cost the consumers too much to have the renewables. This is my opinion. Uh, that is a short turns out. China has warned companies looking to explore for hydrocarbons in the South China Sea to stay away from disputed water amidst territorial campaigns. We've seen in the case of Iran and oil politics impacting on prices. Are investors responsive to these sort of scenarios? I think very much, but investors that know China, um, they know that China will not like to have disputed territories and China would never tolerate that others are coming in to that. And so it is um, smart to stay out of disputed territories. We have enough wars as it is on all that. Uh, so we should go into areas which are politically safe and that will also um, create better profits and uh, more benefits for everybody and uh, better for the people living there for their welfare and so on. New hydrocarbon discoveries in Peru have led to a rise in foreign investments by international companies. Are emerging markets set to benefit from this sort of refocus on energy? Absolutely. Um, the emerging markets need to have uh, something else to find and if they have um, uh, oil and such things, hydrocarbons and different uh, types of resources, they should be exploited and used because it will give many of the unemployed people work and they can be trained to do certain things. It will give uh, foreign exchange for the economy so it can only be positive. I don't see any negative at all. It's just the investments that are very big and you need to have very rich multinational companies to come in to do that. Eric, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome, nice to be here, Natalie. Eric Biatton is there. We'll be back shortly with more exclusive interviews. For now though, goodbye.